So, ladies and gentlemen, Gina Carano obviously has filed her lawsuit against Disney. We know this. We've seen this. We've taken a look. And recently, Disney did, in fact, respond. Uh, citing First Amendment. Sort of protected reasons why they fired her. Very bizarre. Uh, it was very much a rules for the not for me scenario with Disney here in their filing. But Gina Carano has responded. Uh, and it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. We also have response from you know someone who is more litigiously minded uh, with respect to Disney's sort of I guess attempt to get the whole lawsuit tossed which I don't think they'll be able to by the way because it sets a very dangerous precedent but Gina Carano has responded to Disney's attempt to dismiss the lawsuit and it's a pretty quick short swift takedown so we'll just get to what she says uh, very specifically, and then we'll take a look at what other people have said, uh, sort of on the back end of it. So Gina Carano just tweeted this out and says, Disney has confirmed what has been known all along. They will fire you if you say anything they disagree with, even if they have to misrepresent, malign, and mischaracterize you to do it. They are now on record letting everyone know who works for them, that Disney will take any chance they get to control what you say, what you think, or they will attempt to destroy your career. Glad we cleared that up. The First Amendment does not allow Disney to wantonly discriminate, which is what they have done in my case, and frankly, have now admitted they did, which is quite literally what they did. If you ever wanted to know what today's Disney's values are, they just told you. Uh, and it got absolutely... Yeah, I mean, everyone loves this. Of course everyone loves this. But they, they have literally just shot themselves in the foot by saying this. Like, massively shot themselves in the foot. So, we'll take a look. Oh, this is all on that part place, by the way. I'll leave uh, the main article linked down below. But the uh, legal analyst, uh, Andrew Esquire from Legal Mindset has shared his opinion on all this. And I think it's important just to take a look. This is a, a guy who, you know, has practiced, has practiced, he was practicing lawyer, or was anyway. Um, and just real quick, the motion to dismiss was this. Disney makes this motion on the grounds that Disney has a constitutional right not to associate its artistic expression with Carano's speech, such that the First Amendment provides a complete defense of Carano's claims. Right. And wait, wait for the rules for the not for me scenario. Carano's claims are all barred by the First Amendment, as the Supreme Court held in Hurley v. Irish American Gay Lesbian Bisexual Group of Boston. The First Amendment embodies a core principle of speaker's autonomy that bars the state from dictating to expressive enterprises what to say, how to say it, and whom to say it uh, through. As the court held in Boy Scouts of America v. Dale, that principle means that a state cannot force or an employer engaged in speech to speak through an employee whose own views or public profile could compromise the employer's own message, even if the employee does not express her views on the job. Uh, what state law cannot do, however, is force entities that do create speech products to speak through writers or singers or actors whose own speech and public profile could, in the employer's view, compromise the employer's ability to express itself in its own chosen manner. Carano's suit contravenes that rule. It is an impermissible effort to invoke... Uh, state power to override a private entity's decision about what to say in its own art and how to say it. The complaint should be dismissed. Right, okay. So, again, uh, former practicing lawyer, because I don't think he practices at the moment. Uh, I could be wrong. You can correct me, but I don't think he does. Uh, but he basically said, look, you know, this is a very interesting case. This is a case that it's shocking that Disney is going with the same failed argument that they tried before, because this is what they did. They tried to with Florida. Now, why do I say this is the same failed argument? Uh, Disney's just settled its case in Florida and actually admitted to illegal wrongdoings in that case, saying that what it did in Florida was indeed illegal, that it was wrong, there was no First Amendment basis for any of its claims, and that the whole First Amendment argument, the you know the whole we had the right to say something, it's completely bunk in that case. We're now in a shocking motion to dismiss, filed in the separate Gina Carano case in federal court. They are saying that her claims are barred because... They have a First Amendment right to not associate with her, to disassociate from her because her artistic expression, her words, were harmful to the Disney brand. So they're going to want to disassociate with her. 
Well, the funny thing there is, nothing about that defeats any of the claims of a nature of sexual preference or sexual bias. Based on the fact that Gina Carano, a woman, was fired and Pedro Pascal and several other men were not fired for saying the exact same things, for using, in fact, more abhorrent language, and in some cases making very, very offensive jokes of the ex exact precise same nature and not being fired for it. I don't know if they've got it listed down here, but they have a, they have a rules for the not for me uh, element of the case. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, that's how they're trying to get around you know, what Pedro Pascal had said, rather, you know, not have to, to fire him, because they're basically saying, well, you know, we are the ones, we're the arbiters of what we want to associate with. So it, that's quite literally what they say. Not literally, but, yeah. Um, I think it says this, Disney had enough. The same day, Carano grotesquely trivialised the Holocaust as comparable to sharp political disagreements. Lucasfilm announced that Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm and there are no plans for her to be in future. Uh, no, I don't think... It, it doesn't actually have that part. That's an, It's an interesting part of the whole filing, actually. Um, but anyway, so a Andrew Esquire continues and says, so they filed a motion to dismiss, which really doesn't address the merits of the claim uh, or really prove that it is a meritless claim. Remember, a motion to dismiss is supposed to prove that they lack merits completely uh, and that there's zero merit, zero substance to the case. Uh, so they haven't done that, so that's interesting. It also doesn't address any of the labour laws, because these are brought under very specific labour laws, which have absolutely nothing to do with what Disney's claiming. Okay, interesting. Um, this isn't about punishing Disney's speech right. So Disney, once again, using the First Amendment defence is very weird, because it's not about them. It's about the firing of an employee, and firing of an employee for their political views, which, of course, in California is illegal. And by the way, it's illegal whether, they, <laughs> whether they're left-wing or right-wing views. It doesn't matter, it's apolitical. If you're firing somebody in California or under California labor law, whether they are on the left or on the right, it doesn't matter. You cannot fire them purely for the basis of those political views. That is California law. So, they, they, yeah, they don't even address that. That is interesting. Uh, anyway, so he continued and says, Therefore, my prediction here is that this motion of dismissal will actually fail, and this will indeed proceed to summary judgment, and more importantly, to discovery, which has always been the goal uh, and the huge win for Gina Carano, particularly with funding from Elon Musk to get discovery into Disney, to get emails, to get phone calls, text messages, meeting notes, all sorts of fun stuff about the discriminatory intent that lies behind Disney's actions. Uh, discovery will be fun for this. Particularly, they're looking at people's political beliefs in deciding whether to fire somebody or not fire somebody on those bases, which would be the core of Gina's complaint. So we'll see how it goes here. But my prediction is the motion to dismiss will indeed be denied. And I, I think that is the case, to be fair. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. So there you go. Not much else to say, really. Just a quick update. What do you think? Let me know down below. Give the video a like and a share. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Take care.